general guidelines. Dress one step above the dress code of the office where the interview will occur. Wear modest clean clothes that are in good condition. Avoid clothes that will attract attention or draw attention. <coughs> um, avoid clo clothing with logos and brand names just in case your employer is not a fan of it or your company that you're going to be working in. So just take clothes that has like no name on it, just like this outfit. So that much so know what this outfit you're wearing. Um, if you're wearing a jacket outerwear, please take it off before you enter the interview. Just in case it gets hot in the middle of the interview and you don't want to make any distractions, so it's disrespectful to the employer. Um, for men, follow the appropriate business culture for facial hair. Check the company dress standards. If facial hair is acceptable, make sure it is neatly trimmed. If it's about, be sure that it's clean shaven. So three types of business attire, professional dress, business dress, casual dress. Professional dress is the most conservative type of business wear. It's what you'll be expected to wear in the office if you work in Accounting, finance, or other different industries. Or industries Business casual is more relaxed version of um, personal dress. This doesn't mean you're actually going to be casual. This is more going to be your office dress code if you work in a semi-conservative workplace. Campus casual, it is what you probably Neutral colors like black, cream, gray, maybe charcoal, 
a boy bright colors like wine, green, and pink, which is my favorite colors. Um, keep accessories simple. Keep your hair and makeup nice and simple. Don't overdo your hair or makeup. Keep your hair like nice and full and straight like this, or have it in a ponytail or a nice bun. All suits and skirts should be fit close to the body, but not too tight because to wear heels, make sure it's nothing higher than three or four inches. Um, dress clothes for men. Okay. Please wear this and don't wear anything on the left side. It's so stylish, but that just does not look professionally in a business. Um, dress for like full suit with matching jacket and pants. Don't wear something like a navy jacket and gray pants. That does not look good. A uh, crisp collar shirt, black belt and a tie. Wear medium length socks like black and navy colors. Shoes should be complementary color. Why is it important to dress for success? It's been proven that people who dress are treated with more respect. When you're applying for a job or a uh, Promotion, respect from those in the position to hire you is the key. <coughs> Without it, you'll likely be overlooked, and someone who has gained the respect to the higher ups will land a job. Dressing for success presents you true potential. It's like putting your best foot forward. When hiring managers or considering applicants for a position, every competitive edge matters. One last thing, always have confidence in yourself and your abilities, and I hope you all learn to what to dress to get a successful job. Also, my tip is that for you, if you're tight on budget or you don't want to spend too much money on your clothes or buy too much clothes just for jobs, you can always make them match your outfits as long as the colors go good together. You said in uh, with the guys that they shouldn't wear like say a blue blazer with like khaki pants, like the different color pants. So is that a no no or is that just your preference? It's just my preference. Okay. I think it does look good more like navy blue and gray pants. I don't think that looks good. <laughs> That's a classic look from long ago, even in my. <laughs> Sharp look, and then the narrow pants. Thank you, Yanyan.